Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Brown Dust 2 video. Alright, today's video we're gonna talk about gears. A lot of you guys have asked me to, hey, Guitar Rock, you gotta make more guide for gears because I'm struggling to understand what, how do I build my characters and what gears should I go for, right? So ideally, when you are new, you probably are going to be wondering which gear should you craft? Because right here you can see there's plenty of uh, gears that you can craft right here, uh, especially for the UR ones, right? So we're going to be focusing on the UR rarity gears, especially the weapons. I think that's where it gets super, super confusing because uh, at the end of the day, you want to try to do more damage. So hopefully uh, this video can help you guys, uh, give you guys a better idea uh, and perspective, right? First things first, how do you unlock the UR gears, right? So as you can see, I do have Layla right here. My Layla has unlocked the ability to be able to craft the gear. Uh, let's see. So Layla is this girl right here. She is a 4 star. She has an ability right here as you can see this particular one. Alright, so gear craft legendary. So you are going to take a while. If you are new, you are probably going to be only beginner where you can only craft and grade gears. After you craft for a while, then go to intermediate. Uh, intermediate and then uh, advanced you can craft R grade gears and then slowly move up to SR and then eventually UR which is legendary. So um, when I first started back then, she was the only one that can craft legendary gears. Uh, back then, there's two characters with the same ability, uh, which is Layla and Fred, right? So I'm not aware if they have fixed that for Fred, so let me check. So you can see... Oh yeah, so Fred can also craft uh, UR gears, you can see right there. So they have changed that uh, accordingly. So you can see N grade gears, uh, R grade gears, SR, UR, at the end. So it doesn't matter if it's Fred or Layla, you know, just use whoever that you have. Uh, basically just max out their levels. Now how do you want to level up fast? The best way that to level up fast back then when I did, uh, you want to go all, all in on the end gears because you're going to have so many of these, right? You're going to have so many of this one. So just craft like thousands of these. So craft thousands of these is going to consume it's going to consume a lot of ability pills, keep that in mind. But yeah, craft a bunch of these, that's how you level up fast. Alright, level up your abilities fast and then, you know, go and farm the evil castle. Hopefully level up their, their skills as soon as you can to be able to unlock UR gears. So let's talk about uh, UR gears then. So let's first focus on weapon and uh, we're going to jump into the others slowly because there's going to be a couple of things that you guys want to know. Uh, there's three things that I get asked a lot and this is what I want to clear this video with hopefully uh, you come into this video hopefully you have one of these three questions if a character can crit go for the weapon with crit damage so that's something that i get uh, i've been told a lot and i will prove that 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 cannot necessarily be the case sometimes uh, flat more than percentage we will talk more detail about that as well and are all of the weapons the same all right talking about like the weapons uh, in terms of uh, there's three different ones for physical and magic so hopefully you might have the same question as well. So I'll have them answered by the end of this video. So let's first talk about the UR weapon. So you can see for the physical weapon, it's divided into physical and magical. Uh, physical weapon is going to be this one. So the dragon's blade, you can see. This one gives flat attack and this one gives crit damage. All right, And then we have one more, the hammer of thunder. This one gives flat attack, this one gives percentage attack. And then there's one more, the javelin, where it only gives flat attack. Alright, so which one is going to be the best one ideally? So a lot of players have been saying that um, this one is better than the hammer, right? The flat is better than hammer because hammer has percentage. So that's something that we need to test out for sure. Hopefully show you guys the result. I'm going to use a few different character. And then also there's this particular one which it gives flat attack but it gives crit damage, right? It doesn't give, uh, it sacrifices a flat attack or percentage attack for a crit damage. So for physical weapon, this is going to be the three. For magical weapon, it's the same. All right, we have one God's Fin right here. Uh, magic attack flat, and then crit damage percentage. And then there's this one, magic attack flat, magic attack percentage. Right, and then there's this one where this one gives both flat uh, magic attack. So the concept are going to be the same for both. So if a character is using magic attack, make sure you are giving them the magic weapon. So how do you tell is very easy. So when you look at the character right here, all right, you can just click on their growth preview and then it will say magic attack right here. So obviously you want to go for magic attack for for uh, this character right here, right? So for Yuri, you can see if I click, uh, if I click right here on the growth preview, she will say attack. So if they say attack on their main stat, then you know that's going to be uh, a physical. If they say magic attack like Shirazad, if I click, say magic attack here, 
that means they are going to need to use the, the magic attack weapon. Alright, so hopefully that clears things up If in case you guys are confused who to use, what to use. So let's uh, give you guys an idea on, on a couple of things, right? First things first, we're going to test with uh, a couple of characters. So, okay, let's first test with Lethal because I think a lot of players are going to have Lethal. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit, alright? So you can see my Lethal has the following gears. I have this particular one with UR gears right here, alright? So very, very good exclusive equipment right there. I have the Helm of Death. Uh, for the helmet and the armor piece, for most characters, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters, but in most cases, just go with whatever that you have or whatever that gives you the better substats, right? So each weapon, if you guys are not aware, will be able to have uh, three substats right here, right? And this is going to be something that you can modify if you want. Uh, I've already talked about it in the beginner guide uh, briefly. So you can basically modify using the uh, refining crystal. You can do that, but ideally you want to only do that on the higher level equipment, which is the four one, three and four. All right, for this one, this is Helm of Death one. All right, this one is going to be. Uh, I don't recommend uh, modifying any one, any of these. That's one. Like for this one, this one is four. Right, this one could be worth modifying. Four is the highest rarity. Right, for each of the gear. It is a little bit of RNG. You know, it's quite hard to get four, but ideally, you know, you want to craft as many times as you can. So let's jump into it and let's talk a little bit more about this, right? So we're going to use later as an example. I'll show you guys first. We're going to use this Javelin right here. All right, remember the Javelin is the one with two flat attack. So you can see two flat attack. So uh, and then this one has a, a substat that gives crit damage. Unfortunately, I won't have the best demonstration for, for the substat and everything. I will jump here and then we are, we are going to show you guys how uh, how strong is later, right? So I'm going to try to take out everyone else. So we're going to fight against this boss. This boss is going to be the best uh, indication to show uh, Lethal in a good way. So we're going to go this, 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 and this. Alright. So confirm. Okay, so we're going to be able to uh, show you guys the results. So uh, I do have Rao, Erinus, and a bunch of other characters. That's just to give him a bunch of crit rate. Hopefully we can crit in this battle. And then we can compare the results to hopefully give you guys an idea, right? So Helena, uh, I believe, let's see. So you can see, this is the first that we have. Uh, I'm gonna screenshot this. This is going to be the best testing method. Uh, you guys, uh, you know, if you want to, can also do this as well. So I'm gonna screenshot that. So now as you can see for now, we are able to get 422,000 on Promise of Vengeance later. All right, so this one is uh, 169 and stuff. So ideally you want to go a couple of times, sometimes you never know if it's crit or not, right? So you, again, you can go in again. Right, so I have Arianes, Samai. Um, who else do I have set up? I need to show you guys my setup again. Uh, so you guys have have a rough idea. 422, 169, 135, and 83. So you can tell uh, I clearly did crit right there. So you can, you can see right here, right? Uh, both of my results are the same. Alright, both of my results are the same. So that means my character, my later was able to crit because sometimes they don't crit, therefore the results are going to be different. Ideally, I'm going to do it like two to three times or three to four times rather to basically try to get more consistent results. Okay. So boom. Let's see, am I... 422-169-135-83,000. Okay, so this is going to be a, a consistent one. So let's go back to the safe zone. Now I'm going to take away my equipment. Alright, and I'm going to show you guys some certain things. So remember, this is the flat one. This is the javelin, right? I'm going to remove the javelin. I do have one hammer right here. I'm going to equip the hammer so you guys can see. So the hammer is going to give one attack and one flat attack. We also have crit damage and a little bit of attack percent here, right? So ideally, this one should be better. Logically, right? Because you can see substats wise, this one's an attack percent, this one has crit damage percent. Whereas this one, alright, the javelin that I used earlier only have crit damage percent. And then the other two is HP percent, right? So that's something to, to consider. But let's uh, go with the, the hammer for now. Alright, so we're gonna go in, same setup with the hammer. So again, my setup is as follows, right? So we do have a Rao to give crit rate buff, alright, and then we have Helena also for the crit rate buff because the magic attack won't affect later. Erinus for the attack buff and then Schoolgirl Samai for the attack and magic attack buff. So again, this is going to be something that's uh, very interesting. So we're going to go into battle. So this is going to prove one thing. 
based on the theory that a lot of players have said, Javelin is going to be flat is better than percentage. So is this true right here? So let's come here and see. Alright, so 415,000, 166, 132, and 81,000. So, so far, it's true based on this testing right here. So I am using a hammer and this hammer even have better substats. All right, the hammer clearly have better substats. Uh, we have crit damage percent and stuff uh, and attack percent. But even then, the javelin, which give flat stats, was able to provide more damage overall. You can see 422, 169 was previously one. This one is using the hammer, 166. While consistently on board, the uh, hammer is doing less. All right, so let's try again. Let's try again, retry. So hopefully uh, this is going to show you guys an idea. Give you guys a, a better idea right here, right? Boom. Okay, so again, uh, did we crit here? All right, so it seems like we are still doing... We are still doing less. We are still doing less. So the damage is consistently less compared to you using a javelin. So I do think that, you know, based on this uh, theory, based on this scenario, if you were to compare these two weapons between the flat and the percentage weapon. So three times, hopefully that's going to be consistent enough. Yeah, we're still doing less consistently across the board. So uh, hopefully uh, that's one thing that we can get out of the way for now, right? So if, if you guys are deciding between this one, Hammer of Thunder versus the Javelin, it seems that the Javelin is providing more. All right, so again, I'm going to show you guys uh, based on my previous one, my later right now, you can see the Hammer has attack percent, crit damage percent, right? But the Javelin, right, we do have crit damage percent. There's no attack percent, but we do have HP percent. So Javelin seems to be able to uh, provide slightly more damage. Uh, the damage is not like insanely way different, alright, the difference is not that high. But still you can see right there, you know, flat, better than percentage, that seems to, that seems to be the case for later, alright. So we'll, later we'll try again with the other characters. So now let's try with uh, this particular one. I'm gonna take the sword. All right, this time we have the crit damage one. All right, so at flat attack and crit damage percent. So substat is not that amazing. I do have a crit rate percent. So let's see, is this going to be better than the javelin? So let's go. All right, with the jump into the battle. All okay, so I'm gonna try to skip battle. Where's my mouse? I can't see my mouse. Oof. Okay, so it seems like I'm doing more. Let's see. Oof, I am doing slightly more. So as you can see, this is using the javelin, the flat attack. So this one is using the crit damage one. So you can tell consistently across the board using the dragon sword for lethal because it gives you crit damage is better. Alright, so we can pretty much conclude that. Let me just uh, jump into it a couple more times. Alright, so let's do this. Boom. Very, very interesting. So again, this is the highest damage so far, right? So compared to the previous one, this one is 433,000, previous was 422. So you can see the damage is significantly higher. So we can pretty much conclude uh, this for a lot of the characters, a lot of the DPS characters at least, right? So this is going to be something that are consistently going to be something that you can apply across the board, all right? So crit damage percent weapon, the, the weapon with the crit damage percent is going to give you the best results if your character can crit, right? Um, better than flat, all right? Better than the percentage. So the one with the percentage, in this case, the hammer, all right, the hammer is the worst weapon, all right? Uh, surprisingly, the javelin is slightly better. So now let's talk about what if the character cannot crit, all right? Because Lethal can crit. So obviously this one is going to be way obvious, right? So there are some exceptions like Justia, where she does true damage, Alec, 
he does true damage. So if you guys are not aware of what I'm talking about, if you look at just there, alright? So you go to a costume, you can see this one does a fixed physical damage right here. Fixed physical damage, that means he cannot crit. So a, a lot of a costume does fixed physical damage. I believe the candle one as well. Okay? So let's test with Justia. Alright, in that case, I'm kind of curious. Because uh, Justia won't be able to crit. So which one is going to be better for her? The javelin or the hammer, right? So technically, this is also going to be interesting. So if we are applying... If this is going to be consistent across the board, the javelin should be better than the hammer, right? Logically. Justia does have her own exclusive uh, gear, so keep that in mind. Hers is going to be better, ideally. But I do think that, you know, if you don't have anything, uh, this is going to be something that you can apply across other characters as well. Uh, Alec, for example, right? Uh, some people might not be able to obtain the... What is that? The uh, exclusive equipment for the time being. So you are curious which one would be better. So we're going to try with this. Boom. Going to test with just there. Alright. And then I will show you guys my results. So this one is using Javelin. I am going to use Javelin for now. Again, I'm going to need to screenshot after this. But for just the one, I don't have to test multiple times. Because hers is going to be fixed. Alright, she does uh, a fixed damage. So you can do 42,000, 27,000, right? And I can try again. It's going to be 42,000 and 27,000. Because she can't crit. Alright, there's no way that she can crit. Uh, there's no reason for the damage to change. So again, you can see 42,000, 27,000. Alright, so let's screenshot that, uh, get an idea. Alright, so this is going to be for for uh, just their damage overall, right? So we're going to swap this out with the hammer. So the hammer is going to be using the percentage. So is the percentage weapon better for just their? Because, you know, right now it seems like the javelin... Oh, sh what did I do? I accidentally unequipped the wrong thing. Now this is going to be consistent across the board because I'm not switching any of the other equipments up, right? So I am pretty much using the same, uh, the only thing I'm changing is the weapon, right? I'm using the same armor, I'm using the same uh, necklace, same everything else. So let's look at this. So this is going to be something that we can compare now collectively. Okay, so this is using the hammer, which is a percentage. So 42,400 versus 42,427. This is really close. <laughs> this is really close. Okay. So for just the... Yeah, right, so this one, remember this one is the flat. Uh, I'm going to write it down so just so you guys are not confused. This one is the flat one. The flat one is right here. The percentage one is right here. So this is 42,000, this is also 40,000. This is 427, this is 415. Right? So the flat one is doing more. It is doing more. So, same for this, 265, 258. Although this one is really close, right? Really close. It's like, at this point, it doesn't matter for just there which one, it, which one you use. Uh, it seems to be really close. But still, the consistency seems to be across the board, right? That flat is better than percentage. I, I'm guessing this is going to be something that, uh, you know, something that we can all verify here based on these two characters that I test. So just to throw in a little bit of, uh, you know, just to throw in a little bit of extra uh, concept. What about her own exclusive gear, right? Because I do have that. So we're gonna go... Where's my exclusive? Just the exclusive gear. Obviously, this is gonna be way better, right? Because her exclusive gear gives her exclusive ability of 45%. So there's just no... No way... No freaking way that this is gonna be worse. So this should do at least like... I don't know how much that 45% is going to translate to but I'm guessing Justia can do up to like I'm guessing 20% more damage that's my guess 50,000 alright so we are doing way more as you can see 42,000 increased to 50,000 27,000 increased to 32,000 so for Justia obviously exclusive gear is going to do a lot more alright that's going to be whether or not it's, whether or not that is a lot is it depends on you right so that's something to, to consider. Now, however, right, consistently across the board, this is going to be something that we can we can discuss and we can compare. There are some exceptions, sadly. Uh, again, this is going to be something that uh, I've been testing as well. 
So I did test with a few other characters, uh, notably, right? So let's talk a little bit more about this. Uh, Justia. Yeah. Right? Justia is going to be a very unique character, so her attack is 558, right? So earlier, I did try with a different character, right? You guys might might not know this because I tested it before I started streaming. I mean, before I started making this video. I tested it with Anastasia. Alright, so Anastasia is very interesting. Alright, so you can see right here. So the Javelin, the flat attack, Gives us 156, 117, right? And then the hammer 165, 124. Okay, so 165, 124, and then uh, 156, 117. So I did test this and I was like quite surprised of these results. Why Anastasia is so different? Why for hers the percent? is higher than the flat right you can see right here her percentage is higher than the flat whereas for someone like uh, Justia and Lethal that we test earlier it seems like the flat seems to be higher than the percentage so that could be because of the base attack so Anastasia is one of the highest base attack character in the game you can see her base attack is 593 okay this is really really high so compared to Justia let me see uh, if I can find Justia Justia is 558. Okay, so Anastasia has about 40 more attack, which can be a lot. All right, it's, it's actually quite a lot. Once you convert that to percentage, it can be quite a lot. Uh, Later has a 436. So which is also Later has way less attack, right? So the base attack uh, we're talking about. So based on this, I can somewhat make a conclusion that if a character has a base attack of above I would say 570 and above there's a chance that the uh, percentage is going to do way more now you might be arguing or you might be like okay why do we care about percentage or flat all right flat or percentage for Anastasia because Anastasia can crit so just give her the crit damage weapon why are we having this conversation funny thing you ask I also was very surprised with one more thing while I was using the crit damage weapon for Anastasia, right? She does less damage than I'm using hammer. For Anastasia, surprisingly, hammer gives her, gives her the most damage, not the sword. Even though the sword gives a little bit of crit damage. Now, I was thinking as well, why is that? Alright, after I look at the skills, so crit damage has diminished value in this game. Okay, so because when I was testing, I was using both of her costume. So Anastasia has two costumes. So this costume, as you can see, it gives her crit damage 200%. Alright? And then she has one more costume right here. That also gives her another crit damage of 200%. Now alongside with that, you stack with all the supporters. I, I use the same setup, right? All the supporters are with like... um. Actually, most of the supporters give crit rate. But because she has so much crit damage, that I believe there's some diminished value for crit damage overall. So that is something that uh, I hope you guys are aware as well. Uh, it seems like this is going to be something that's much more complicated, right? So the rule of crit damage is going to be better than flat, it's going to be better than percentage. This rule is going to, uh, you know, you can follow this rule, I think about 90% of the time. There are going to be a few exceptions, like I mentioned. Uh, Anastasia is going to be one of the few exceptions that I've discovered so far. Um, in the future, there might be more. And a good one, let's test with Yuri, right? Because I think this is going to be a, a very interesting one. Because Yuri has the same concept as well, right? So if you think about it, Yuri has something that gives crit damage right here, all right? So on this particular uh, costume, and then she has one more costume that gives attack percent. So I'm curious, how about Yuri? Uh, which one would be the better one for her? So let's go. Let's try out first. Uh, first things first, we're going to give her the... The javelin, this one is going to be the flat attack. I'm kind of curious about this myself, right? Because uh, is Yuri going to be an exception to this rule as well? Because uh, knowing that currently so far, based on my discovery, Yuri does have, I think, about the same base attack as... Oops, I misclicked. Uh, as Justia, right? There's something to consider. So I'm going to take both Justia out. So I'm going to place Yuri... I don't know which one to take first. 
I'm guessing we do the crit damage first and then the attack percent later on. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Alright, so again, all the other are supporters. We're gonna buff her or hyper buff her. So yeah, this is going to use the, the current setup. Is using the flat. Again, I find this extremely uh, fascinating. Uh, I understand that the video is a little bit long, but I want to show you guys as much data as I can, right? Because this is something that I think uh, if I just say, oh, crit damage is better than flat and better the percentage without showing you guys how I achieve this data and what are the characters that are in the exception, uh, I think that's going to be unfair for you guys to, to just, you know, take all the info just like that. Uh, ideally, showing these results is going to be very important as well. Uh, okay, so let's see. So this is going to be Yuri with the Javelin. So this is with Javelin, alright? Percentage. Uh, I mean flat. This is with flat. Javelin is flat. Let's retry again. So I'm going to apply the same thing. Okay, skip. <laughs> let's see if we achieve the same results. I think she didn't crit earlier actually. Ooh, she didn't crit earlier. So 72, 34,000, you can see 1, 5, 2, and 69,000. This seems to be the crit one because it's literally both of them are, both of it are doing double. So she did not crit earlier and this time she crit, uh, which is what I, I was hoping that she would do, right? So let's go in one more time just to uh, expect the consistency. Okay. Boom. So I hope we are able to uh, maintain the consistency. Okay, we do get the same 152,000, but we didn't get the 55,000 here. We get six. We didn't get 69,000. We got the 55,000 here. So I'm gonna keep trying until hopefully you now want to see the maximum potential. Is 69,000 the maximum highest number, right? Because as you guys can see, even with crit damage, uh, there's definitely diminished value. This is definitely not. We didn't create there. Okay. And then this is going to be... One more. So 15269 is the highest. 15287. So this is the, the actual best one. Alright, so... I'm gonna take this. Right. This is very, very interesting actually. Um, the fact that uh, her damage is going to be so uh, different compared to everyone else's. Okay. So let's go in. 15287. Yes. So, so far it seems to be consistent. Okay. So that's going to be for using the flat weapon. Alright, Javelin. So let's try with the hammer. Uh, and then I'll just show you guys the results after this. Okay, so first testing result already, the percentage one is better. So you can see the flat earlier, we got 15287. Percentage with the hammer, 15891. So already, this is this is uh, pretty impressive, right? I would say. Okay, so after testing for 5 more minutes. Damn, I'm actually quite surprised by this. So, Yuri follows the same exception rule as well. Sadly. Um, you know? For most people, this one is going to be, uh, this is going to apply, right? Crit damage more than flat, more than percentage. But it seems like for Yuri and Anastasia, this rule doesn't apply because they provide buffs to themselves. All right, something to consider. So as you can see, uh, this is going to be uh, something to, to basically take into equation. The flat right here gives 152,000. Percentage, the hammer gives 158,000. But surprisingly, the sword, which gives crit damage, doesn't give... It's doing barely the same as the flat weapon, actually. So for Yuri's case, the percentage is going to make more sense. Alright, this is something that uh, I find fascinating. Uh, it is something to... You know, it is something to consider, especially for all of these characters. I feel like Yuri is also an exception. Now, the reason why, uh, my theory for now, again, I it's hard for me to prove this, but I feel like crit damage has a diminished value, right? After certain after certain percentage, maybe it just doesn't uh, matter as much, or the the value just goes down significantly. So, because uh, Yuri and for now uh, Anastasia and Yuri are the two characters that can buff themselves, giving themselves crit damage, right? So this is going to be my theory for the timing. Uh, therefore, 
these characters, all right, because of that particular, uh, you know, feature that they have with the crit damage and stuff, it does feel like uh, that is going to be the, the reason why. Uh, I don't think I can think of anyone else that does that. So this is going to be something that's very interesting. I hope you guys are, you know, able to test this out yourself as well. And, you know, for now, this is the results that I have that I'm going to present to you guys. I do think that building gears is going to be something that uh, is going to be much more uh, individual based. You can't really apply this thing to, to every single character. All right. So for example, uh, right now, let's say this rule applies to, let's say this current rule, it applies to, uh, let's say, let me think of a physical damage dealer. Um, let's say it apply to her. All right, let's say it apply to, to Rubia. I mean, Rubia is a bad example. Let me think of a, okay, let's say Latrice, right? Let's say this rule applies to Latrice, and I think it should apply to Latrice, right? Logically, because uh, she does have similar base attack with uh, Cry. I mean, not cry, uh, Justia and Lethal. But what if in the future, she gets one more costume that just straight up gives herself an additional crit damage? Like in that case, more than likely, you have to switch up her weapon, right? So that's something that you guys have to, you know, be prepared for. Uh, it's not something that you can just have one fixed weapon for one character. So I don't think making guides for the best build for a character is viable because if a new costume comes in and that costume is gonna like give them an enhanced attack percent or crit damage percent, that might change what weapon is going to be the best for them later on. So, but you can see upon the testing results, I do think that a lot of them are within similar values. And I hope you guys find this informative because at least for me, I do find this interesting. So I'm definitely going to upload this. Uh, just so you guys know for Yuri, in case you guys are wondering, uh, Yuri's base attack is going to be oh hers is definitely higher so 575 that's why she also follow this very unique rule because her base attack is considered high all right so again just just base attack i just want to reiterate just just base attack is 558 about 558 uh, yuri is 575 but i believe currently uh, anastasia has the highest base attack in the game with a uh, 593 so in the future, maybe there are some characters that, you know, they will have 600 base attack. So in that case, this rule might not apply anymore, right? In, in that case, maybe the, the percentage, uh, if you have high base attack, it's going to be, it's going to look something like this. Right, for, for, for their case. Something like this instead. So, yeah, for, I would say this, this applies to right now, currently, uh, at the time we're recording this video. Hopefully, if you watch this in the future. This applies to 90% of the roster. So there are going to be some exceptions for sure. Like 10% might follow this rule right here, which I definitely need to test. I need to, I need to check all the physical damage dealers and also magic damage dealers as well. So um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to drag on. This video has been a little bit too long, but I hope, you know, with this information, we can, you know, proceed into making better decisions into crafting gears for your characters. And ultimately, it does come down to which character is using that particular said gear, right? So with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.